Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video will be about polarity. If you want to skip to a specific part, you can do so by clicking the timestamps found in the description section below. A polar molecule has two ends. One end is slightly positive and the other is slightly negative. This is due to the difference in electronegativity of the two atoms involved. If there is no difference in electronegativity or if the difference cancels out, then the bond or the entire molecule, basically the net electronegativity difference of the entire molecule is zero and therefore is considered nonpolar. Nonpolar molecules therefore does not have the slight positive end and negative end to a bond or a molecule. Scientists have worked really hard to identify and assign numerical values to quantify the electronegativity of each element. You can see them here. If you look at the trend, you see that as you go across the periodic table towards the right-hand side, the electronegativity of elements increase. And if you go down the periodic table, the electronegativity of elements decrease. Knowing this will help you in most biochemistry questions in general. We are not required to memorize the electronegativity numbers for the MCAT or for most undergraduate level exams. However, it is possible that they would give you these numbers and ask you to calculate the electronegativity and or whether a bond is polar or negative, nonpolar. There aren't any hard and fast rules about the exact electronegativity difference needed to categorize a bond or a molecule as polar or nonpolar. Therefore, we use the following rule of thumb. If the electronegativity difference is less than 0.5, the type of interaction or the type of bond is nonpolar. If it is between 0.5 and 1.7, it is considered polar. And if the electronegativity difference is more than 1.7, then it is considered an ionic interaction. Please note that these cutoffs are subjective. There may be slight differences based on the publication you search for. However, for the MCAT, these numbers are sufficient enough. The cysteine amino acid has a sulfohydryl group. This is an S. H group. This group contains a sulfur atom covalently bonded to a hydrogen atom. The sulfur atom has an electronegativity of 2.58, while the hydrogen atom has an electronegativity of 2.20, making the electronegativity difference 0.28. This electronegativity difference is what we use to identify if bonds, if a bond is polar or not. Because there is only a slight difference, there will only be a slight polarity. The sulfur atom will slightly pull more of the shared electrons towards itself, making it slightly negative and making the hydrogen slightly positive. However, because of the classification system provided above, cysteine is grouped as a nonpolar hydrophobic amino acid. This is because the electronegativity difference is less than 0 0.5. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. If this was helpful for you, please make sure to subscribe and like as that really helps out the channel. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.